horse, elephant, <coughs> wild boar. These three animals are connected with Kalari Payatu. You want to know why? You need to watch the video. I'm Basha. I am Rock Danny Roll. And this is our Dragon's Warrior experience. The first animal posture which we have learned was the horse posture. <laughs> which is similar to a warrior one asana in yoga or combo stance in kung fu. Let's learn its name and how to do it. A horse posture is called Ashwabadiva and uh, the Malayalam command for that is Velinyamarna. First we go into horse posture, then we come up completely dragging the back leg and then you go forward. We perform this exercise all lent forward and at the end of the path we turn and this turn is called a transition. This is how our teacher explains it. You're stepping a little ahead, then you're letting your hip go forward, arching your back and doing a fall to go into the posture. I have to admit this was one of my favorite exercises. Immediately you feel your core muscles working hard. Going forward into the horse posture is a basic exercise. But we can also go backwards. Firstly, we repeat the previous exercise. This is why we speed up a little bit the video. And now we are going backwards. In the next exercise we will combine both, going forward and going backwards into horse posture. This is how our teacher explains it. You go into horse posture and from there you sit back onto your back leg, stretching your spine. Stretch your body, use your hand, point your foot, turn out. And from there you scoop down with your upper body and move forward. The other thing which makes horse posture exercises one of my favorite is that it makes your legs and spine very flexible. The second animal posture is an elephant posture and our teacher calls it Gajavadiva, elephant posture. The proper distance between legs in this position is feet together, toes outside, heels outside and toes adjust so that the feet are parallel to each other. Uh, we stand up and we do the transition. This position is very demanding for your legs muscles and your back. You should keep your back as straight as possible or even arch it a little bit towards the ceiling. Then once we reach the other side, we come back, we stay low. From there, we do touch your again, which is arching of the back and making circles with the upper body. We do each side three circles, two circles and two times one circle. You should keep your body as compact as possible when you do it. From there, you do a jump with your knees coming towards your shoulder and land back into elephant posture. The most difficult. That is so difficult. It's called the elephant posture. Before doing the circles, we highly recommend to do the warm up for your spine and for your shoulders. This also will help you to gain flexibility so needed to do this exercise. It's a lot of way to go to that position. This wall exercise is a preparation for Otadiyamarnu transition. 
an elephant posture exercise transition and it also helps you to gain flexibility in your back. Now, the jump which you saw at the end requires a lot of strength in your legs. This is why we recommend to do the strengthening exercises. You can choose my version, just stepping on something high or jumping like Daniel and Srinat. This is power training here. Okay. And this is how we were training jumps during our classes. Bring the legs up. The next and the last animal posture which we have learned was a wild boar posture and it's called The distance between legs in this posture should be the length of your calf and you check it in this way. This posture is even more demanding for your legs and for your back than the previous elephant posture. We are going to do the transition of Parahavadiva moving forward and back. And back. And this is how we were training to do the wild board posture exercises with the stick. So your body was from here. You shifted your whole body towards that head and then you tried to walk. Your body to body is in front and from there. The foot, yes. Open. Yeah, I remember. I shifted it. I shifted it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> But I need to go here with this yes. leg, or I can go. No, no, no. Like you need to go in first. Inside. Join both heels and then take. Ah. Oh my god! How to do? Daniel's turn. Yes. Now bring the right foot. Two. Yes. <laughs> 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 then you're pushing to make in space. <laughs> and this is how it should be done. Ram Kumar, our teacher, performs it. Now just to see how low it's going. See, me high. Yeah. I feel so close here. Like, this hand doesn't go up. I feel it was in mode.